Hey guys, uh, it's been a long time since I posted a video, but I'm going to try to get back into it. I'm going to try to post a weekly video, and uh, this week I'm going to start with a review of this 3D printer that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, the printer is called a Mod T, and it's by a company called New Matter. If you're not familiar with 3D printing, essentially what it is is you draw something in 3D modeling software, for instance, this GoPro clamp holder thingy and then you use this print filament this is called PLA filament it's the actual type there's other types but you use this filament which kind of looks like weed whacker wire and the printer extrudes it in very thin layers uh, I don't know if you can see the lines but in very thin layers and builds up the part it prints it on this print bed so the way that I got this printer was off of a um, crowdsource funding uh, website. It was called uh, Indiegogo. There's also one called Kickstarter. Essentially what it is is, um, you know, New Matter posted their idea. They had a prototype, a working prototype, I believe, and they asked for different, fun, different amounts of funding. For $1.99, you got this printer plus a half a kilogram of the filament, uh, plus I had to pay $40 shipping. Uh, so it's supposed to be here in like May or June. I got it last month. Uh, it's now December of 2015, so it was a little bit late, but they had manufacturing problems, software problems, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, um, I've had some problems with it. I had some problems the first night loading the filament. The carriage was all the way up. That's this thing right here, the thing that goes up and down in the middle. All the way up, and the filament would not load. I found out later that that's one bug that they have. I had another issue where when it was calibrating, so what happens is when you print something, this bed goes like this and the print head goes up and down and it gets hot. Here's one of the, the print heads. What happened is as it went down, it went right into this plastic plate. This thing is plastic right here. You can kind of see it went in and heated up and put a nice little crater in the bottom of this. New Matter is sending me a new one, but they're on back order. I'm guessing they have other people that have the same problem. So anyways, um, that was the second problem. The third problem, which still is occurring and is super annoying, is prints randomly fail. You'll be printing something and it'll just stop. And the software says it's 100% complete, but your part is not 100% complete. If you see, it took me four attempts to get this thing to print right. The fourth one is actually holding the camera right now. So that was annoying. So those go in my junk pile. Um, the way I print is I take, I use what's called Tinkercad, which is like a online cheap 3D modeling software um, package. And um, I draw my objects, I take the STL file and I load them into what's called uh, a software program called Cura. I think it's called Cura, C-U-R-A, I think it's how it's spelled. And Cura is a slicing program. So essentially what the slicer does is it takes your object and divides it into these little slices that the printer then, you know, uses the instructions which are in what's called G-code and it prints it out. It, you know, it tells it how to move the head around and move up and down and so on and so forth. Um, Cura is great because it allows you to control the fill density. You see this, this object right here kind of has like these um, this little grid pattern here, um, something like this, you might not need to fill in with plastics, so you do this um, grid pattern. Um, but so I use Cura and then I upload the G code file to the printer. You can also go to the New Matter store and get all these objects, but to be honest, in my opinion, most of the objects are not really useful, but more like gimmicks, little toys, little doodads, things like that. Um, so you send it to the printer either through the USB cable or wirelessly and then you push this little button when it's flashing and then it prints and then you this thing moves all around so this thing goes right here it moves all around and the print head slowly goes up and there's your, your print object one thing I added to my printer was these LED lights um, for the sole purpose of I was watching the print jobs you know as they would go it's kind of was amazing at first um, so these are just from Ikea. The printer came with these 
couple tools, little wire cutters that you use to cut the filament when you're um, cut the filament when you're changing it. You use this to clean off the head. Um, it came with this little scraper, kind of like a little plastic razor blade. Um, it did not come with these needle nose, but I use a needle nose to kind of go in and like pick off the little strands and um, you know help break off little pieces. They come in handy. Sandpaper comes in handy. Um, because I have that hole, I'm printing on painter's tape. And um, I did find that I was printing like a really narrow, tall object. The, um, the object kind of wanted to fall over. So I found this in my wife's craft drawer. It's called Craft Bond by Elmer's. So I would spray a light coat on the painter's tape. I would do that outside. And uh, it got really sticky and the, the object stuck. Um, so overall, I would say that this printer is awesome. I mean, for $199, even with the couple of issues that it has, um, you know, I'd give it like a seven or eight out of out of a ten scale. If it didn't have that those those three bugs, or actually just that one bug where the parts fail, I'd give it a ten. Um, so I think the team is working on fixing those issues. Um, but overall, it's awesome. Um, if you're looking for a three D printer, I'd highly recommend it. Um, I have a friend uh, who sets these up for like colleges and high schools. He sets up different 3D printers and you know CNC machines and things like that. And uh, I showed him some of the print objects that you know, some of the objects that I printed, and he was totally amazed by the quality. He said for a $200 machine, it's rivaling machines that cost a couple grand. So I was excited. Um, he said it's better than what he's seen come out of like the MakerBot. So that was cool because that's a really common printer. Um, so yeah, overall, love it. Um, I do have it mounted sideways. It's, it's, this is actually the front. I have it mounted sideways because it's easier to load and unload the, uh, the filament that way. But it doesn't really matter. So if you're looking for a printer, like I said, check it out. I'll put the links in the uh, description below. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions or comments, and I'd be happy to uh, get back to you. So uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks.